Windows 11 has an auto HDR feature to add HDR to games that didn't originally have it. Let's take a look at it and see how it works. Alright, so let's talk about the auto HDR features of Windows 11. So auto HDR is a capability that's been brought over from the Xbox consoles whereby HDR can be applied to existing games that didn't originally offer HDR. It's a default capability, it doesn't require developers to go back and implement it. Awesome kind of a feature is HDR is really one of those things that's added a lot to video image quality. More impactful, more valuable per se than even the introduction of 4K itself. Now HDR and Windows has always been, Windows 10 anyway, has always been a little bit kludgy in the way games actually support it. Meaning some games offer HDR natively and are not reliant on a Windows system setting. Some games in order to engage HDR have to have HDR itself enabled at the system level. And it hasn't always worked. Windows 11 is maintaining the same type of HDR configuration option as we see here under System Display HDR. And then in addition, we have the separately toggleable capability ability to apply auto HDR to, to games. I should note as well, this is the same computer that I've been making some of my other recent Windows 11 videos on, the gaming PC that I have here in my living room, and was fully detailed in, in one of my earlier videos. I'm connected to my Sony X900H television through an HDMI 2.1 cable on one of the HDMI 2.1 ports, and I've got here the NVIDIA Control Center settings pulled up, basically color output set to 444 12-bit. So one of the nice things about HDMI 2.1 and the extra bandwidth gives you the ability to do this. I'm running a 60 hertz desktop. Even then, 444 color, 12 bit, 60 hertz, not possible on HDMI 2.0 with 18 gigabits of bandwidth. You need HDMI 2.1 for that. And running 444 color really makes such an impactful difference versus having to set to 422. Everything is so much cleaner and clearer. I'll probably go into that in HDMI 2.1 in some more detail in future videos as well. But one of the other elements that I want to mention quickly with regards to HDR support in Windows is the fact that Windows 10 didn't really do a great job with its HDR settings. So I went ahead and disabled that. I want to start here actually in a non-HDR mode or SDR mode. And if I look at the display settings of the TV, we see there's nothing, um, nothing shown there, just 4K, which means 4K SDR. So one of the things that I noticed with regards to HDR support, um, or turning HDR on in system settings for Windows 10, is that with the desktop itself being HDR, it would shift everything. It wasn't a very stable packaging of an SDR image in an HDR container, but they seem to have fixed that here in Windows 11. So if I go ahead and turn this back on, I don't notice any specific shift in color. There's no dimming. There's no, there's no negative impact for using this. And if I go ahead and hit the TV display, I see here at the bottom, we're now in an HDR, HDR 10 mode. So that's really great. It's fairly safe on the PC then to just leave the HDR setting on, feel confident that it's not uh, systematically degrading what you're looking at. And if you're launching a game that needs the setting on and supports the HD HDR, then you have it set, it'll work. And you'll actually need that to take advantage of any auto HDR on the games that support it anyway. It's much nicer to just be able to set it and forget it versus constantly having to come in here and toggle, particularly at this stage where we have a smaller crop of newer titles titles and, and growing, but definitely a smaller amount of titles supporting HDR than don't support it because of the legacy of titles historically available on PC and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and actually turn this back off. So we're back in SDR mode. We can verify that with the TV display settings. And we're going to go ahead and launch a game. So in this case, I'm going to choose uh, Lego DC Super Villains here playing on Steam. So we're just about at the menu. So here we go. Just taking a look at the, the brightness, the color presentation of the menu. I mean, it looks great. PC is obviously maxing this game out. Um, it's just amazing what, what PC is able to do with games. And if you ever AB your PC games to say uh, Xbox, even a Series X or a PlayStation 5, it's just, it's amazing how much PC pulls ahead. But I'm going to go ahead and load one of my saves to get into the, the one environment of the game. After we take a look at this, then we're gonna go back and turn the HDR and auto HDR features on and then relaunch the game and take a look. Now, I'm not actually recording the video and posting to YouTube yet in HDR itself. I don't really have the capability to do that. I'm recording my videos right now on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. The actual differences might not render so much in the video, but I can still kind of speak to them 
So here we are, a lot of bright lights, a lot of colored lights. This is kind of exactly the type of an environment where HDR would really add, add a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and quit. We'll quit back to Windows, go back to Settings, toggle HDR on, and then of course we already have the Auto HDR setting itself enabled as well. Now when I launch the game, we're gonna see one thing different to start. Pop up. Good news, your game has been enhanced for brighter and more detailed picture. You can turn off HDR, auto HDR in the settings. So I like the dialogue that pops up. I like confirmation that you know the feature that's being taken advantage of is, is actually being, being used. Otherwise, you wouldn't really know potentially like what games may or may not support it. I've launched some other games where I didn't see that pop up, so it's definitely not universal yet. And I don't know even if it's been fully deployed to all of the games that might potentially support it versus not. One more time, just kind of confirming with the TV settings, we are in HDR 10 mode. And I think you can really feel it even in the menu. There's a little bit more depth. There's more, there's more brightness. There's a little more punch to the image than was there before. And then let's go ahead and reload back into that same environment. Now I've checked out a variety of games on the Xbox Series X itself that support auto HDR and I thought it made, you know, generally a positive, positive, impactful difference. But I almost feel with a little bit of experimentation so far that it, it's more impactful on PC. And I think that's because on PC you're generally already dealing with higher level or higher fidelity lighting settings, graphic settings, imagery settings, that the extra dynamic range can really make something that's good, you know, make something that's better, essentially even, even more better. So if we look around here, we see just a little more detail in the lit sections. Things pop. Things pop in a more richer way. So again, all in all, this is excellent. I'm, I'm, I'm a super fan of hardware being used to enhance things, right? Older things in a way that those older things didn't offer, you know, those elements to begin with, especially if it can be applied in an automatic way, a systematic way, doesn't require the devs to go back and patch things as kind of history has shown through these council iterations that they're often not very inclined to do. So to have things being done at the system level and to see Microsoft bringing these capabilities, not just into the council, but into Windows, really should give everybody a, a good feeling about what kind of support and you know gaming focus they really are taking uh, with regards to PC and with regards to Windows. So pretty sweet. I'll be experimenting with this some more, basically trying to launch as many games as I can and get an idea for you know, what titles are actually supporting this capability and how does it look? What kind of material difference does it make? So look for some more updates in future videos. Uh, maybe if I, I find some particularly interesting examples you know, where the, the auto HDR is being used and applied to some great effect, I'll make some content around those. And definitely look for more videos coming up around Windows 11. I'll be upgrading to all of the new dev builds and beta builds as they come out exploring the new features, making content around that, and then, you know, where warranted, of course, specifically focusing on gaming aspects individually as well. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks.